a week after hearing they had walked away with just $20,000 profit for all their painstaking work on the block, Sarah Jane Wilson and Tom Kaleya have finally let the news sink in. Everything was stacked up against us, Tom, 34, admits to Woman's Day. It's been almost the wettest, coldest winter in history in Victoria. We were suffering material and labor shortages, the real estate market is horrible and interest rates are through the roof. I mean, nothing was looking good for any of us, it sucks we didn't win any money from it, but we've moved on. We kind of just accepted it from the minute we heard it, of course it's disappointing, Sarah Jane, 30, adds. But we were never promised anything and it just didn't work our way. We're not the kind of people to live in disappointment, the married couple from Victoria were frontrunners for most of the competition, but despite making next to no profit, the pair say they wouldn't have changed a thing. Absolutely nothing, no regrets. Zero, Tom reveals. I reckon we had the best time out of everyone on the show. We didn't go there for rubbish, adds Sarah Jane, we just went there to have a good time, try and build the best house possible to try and better ourselves. We didn't come out with $800,000 but we've still got $20,000 and by the time we sell our car, we'll have $100,000. That's not a bad day in the office. They played a game it's a game at the end of the day, Tom says of winners Omar Slamankal and Osman Oz Abu Malik's millionaire friend Adrian Portelli, who many believe was planted at the auction to drive up the price, allowing the Sydney team to walk away with a record-breaking $1,686,666. Sixty-six in total prize money, I don't think it's rigged. If I was friends with someone with a lot of money, then why not get them involved? He adds, We just don't have those connections, watch, the blocks Tom and Sarah, sold. Article continues after video after experiencing a disappointing end to their block journey, Sarah Jane and Tom say that given the chance to return for an all-star season, they'd have to seriously consider it. It's not as simple as just saying yes and going on the show, says Tom. We put our lives on hold for almost nine months. It is a huge commitment for us and all our families as well, who help look after one-year-old daughter, Cleo. So we are just going to get on with our lives and whatever comes at us, comes at us, he says before adding that they have yet to hear from host Scott Cam or any of the show's producers about a possible return, in any capacity, next year. If we wanted to do an all-stars, Sarah Jane adds, we'd be going back purely to try and make money, and even still I'd be like, oh god, I can't do this. When reminded that they could follow in the footsteps of past contestants Deanne and Darren Jolly, who initially made $10,000 in 2014, only to return a year later and walk away with $935,000 in profit, Tom is horrified. Oh god, he moans. Don't use them as an example, they're divorced.